this here is my MacBook Pro and I use it every day and I notice that it does run pretty hot right now it has an idle CPU temperature around 40 degrees now now it went down to 35 but believe me usually it's 40 sometimes even 50 when it just you know randomly does nothing and that's just too much and that's a problem with the cooling frankly with like any other older laptop the thermal paste dries out now I don't know if it's really gonna help all that much but you can't be wrong and to change it out you know this is an 07 machine so it gets old and it's still the original thermal paste in there for sure uh, I don't think the previous owner ever changed that so I've got here my tools that I fix it guide and I will do a you know follow a long video here not a, a whole video where you can see um, I just don't have the time right now I want to get this done because I use this laptop a lot and I want to make any improvements like that that are possible to it so I even have here this fancy MX4 Arctic thermal paste that's my better one I usually have this one but uh, I'm gonna go with this one for that laptop now what do you do on a normal laptop you usually take the lid off and like on the older ones you, there's the processor exposed and you can even take it out it's socketed nee, 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 nee. not here Apple and you know Apple about taking apart your machine these two things they don't go together all that well so it is said here that it's hard and you have to take out the motherboard of course so almost the whole computer gets disassembled but I will do it anyway and uh, I will take care and I will not try to mess with the connections too much so like until the lid comes off it's pretty similar to power books but uh, from there on it's completely different uh, yeah so let's get this party started and I will be back when I have some progress and of course let's turn it off all right I'm back already didn't do much yet remove the battery and this RAM shield and I make this clip now because this is a a very rare side in today's world you know uh, having upgradable battery upgradable RAM uh, Max of course never again but uh, also the PCs that has faded away um, very nice times you could just purchase a RAM and make your computer better nowadays on laptops mm, yeah a shame but um, by the way I know that some asked on my video about this MacBook on what battery I used to replace the original one because you know you shouldn't get shady ones and uh, I used that and it still has this protective thing on it can you believe that I just realized that it was looking kind of weird pull that off no weight saving ha 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 all right here it is a soda worked out great for me gives it around four hours um, maybe even five but you know not the world of course it's even a little better I think than the like the original one but don't take my word for that so here is the MacBook without the keyboard and the top part so as you can see already yep a little dirty <laughs> here is the inside now the only real similarity to the powerbook design where you know this whole design is based on is the optical drive position this is on the right here and the powerbooks have it also here but the rest is like totally different uh, the hard drive is different the battery layout is different uh like even the the here that the, the ram is here like seeing through that's also not not uh on the g4s so 
I see a million connector, connectors, yeah, connectors. Oh my god. I've never taken out uh, a PowerBooks main board, by the way. So, yeah. This is gonna be fun. Two fans. Yeah. What is that? An expansion card slot. All right. This is the, the Wi-Fi card, I suppose. And, yep, the SSD I put in. Optical drive. Hmm. Maybe I will leave that out because I, I don't think I'll ever need an optical drive in this. And um, it would save weight. Not like this. This is like... This doesn't matter, but this, just these little couple of grams that I'm gonna save, I wouldn't have to carry it around, and it also wouldn't make always this annoying sound when you power it on. Would also save me some stupid views from my student colleagues, so yeah, I'm really thinking about throwing this guy out. I think you have to take it out anyway. It's like the first step right now, so enjoy your time in there. Maybe it's your last. <laughs> now, before I take it out, a Torx here, a big Philips here, and two little Philips here. Seriously, why not just use one type of screw? Apple. <laughs> what can you say else? So. It wasn't so hard actually, as you can see, the logic board is out. Motherboard, logic board, whatever. And, hmm, well, I don't know guys, but this doesn't really seem enough to get nice cooling. Clearly not. So, here is the heatsink. And... It's just incredible how over-engineered this computer is. Um, because if you take a look at this motherboard, there is this hole. That is a hole in the motherboard designed because this speaker is here. Man. <laughs> now, what kind of surprised me is what nice quality the fans are. I've got one taken out, the other one just kind of slapped to the side because I didn't feel like gluing all of this back on there. Um, and so this is all metal or aluminium more. And I think that's some real nice quality. It really feels nice and it's a little dirty. Uh, I will give this a little clean. And same here, like the inside, but uh, like from all of these years, they made a nice filter or something to keep the, the whole uh, like shit out of it all the time. And you know, that worked out pretty well. Uh, they don't seem to be all that full of stuff, which really surprised me. So nothing was blocking the, the cooling. However, the, the, the thermal paste is just dried out completely. So yeah, here are all the chips. <laughs> nicely laid out <laughs> the old Intel logo there so here I, th I think that's the processor or is it that 2.2 Intel hmm maybe that is the processor and maybe that's the graphics chip and hmm don't know what that is but um, they thought it's important because it needs to be cooled and uh, yeah, a little dusty, but not so bad. So I will wipe this all off and apply thermal paste on here, I think, because it goes in like this. So it should just nicely seal it off. And I hope I don't make a mess and like put everything everywhere. So, <laughs> but let's get this old one out first. So all the chips are cleaned up. Same here with the heat pipes. And now, you see this uh, thermal paste exp 
uh, exposed here the NVIDIA. That is this famous chip that uh, makes graphical problems. And uh, yeah, I still don't know what that is. That is looking to me like a processor, really. This is the processor, though. So, yeah, as you can see there, there's the mark. So, I don't know, what is that? Whoa. <laughs> what is that? Is that a processor? I don't know. So, kind of still, still amazed that I didn't kind of make a bracket, so I have to, ram, to take the RAM out also. Um, so, yeah. Looking all pretty good. So now we'll just uh, put some thermal paste here and don't forget to plug this in first and then lay it back in. So, yeah. Gonna be a little challenge to get it back in, but uh, I think we can do it. Oops, went maybe a little overboard, but you know what? All you can do is spread out on the processor, so, or whatever this is. And I thought, you know, better more than less, this should do the job. And if it goes here, it really doesn't matter. So, yep. Now comes the tricky part. Don't want to do it. So guys, it is almost done. The hard stuff is out of the way. Get the logic board screwed in. All the connections are made. I triple checked so I didn't forget any. Because there was this very, very annoying thing that fell down here and I had to put this logic board out again just because of this one tiny piece of shit here I couldn't reach it with a screwdriver also not like when the fan was out it was horrible so right now everything's hooked up everything's in place and um, I decided to take it out the optical drive uh, again I just don't need it there's no reason for me to use this other than installing operating systems, which you can do with these via USB, so whatever. And you might say, oh, it is so heavy, but yes, it is a couple of grams, and those are a couple of grams I will not have to move around all day. So, always nice, and it kind of surprised me that they used a normal connector to this. Um, special one here so you could get like one of those adapters and put another hard drive in although I don't really need that but you could there is so much room here so much room for activities <laughs> so yeah I will now close it up and then start it up and see if it actually helped I really hope guys we have a success. At least the computer still works, so that's good. Um, and when I powered it on, I was shocked for a second because it didn't make this noise from the optical drive. And I was like, no, fuck. But then I just realized, oh man, you took it out. Don't worry. <laughs> I was just so used to it. Now, if it really helped the cooling, I mean, it must have a positive effect somehow because this was just dried up all there uh, this couldn't really help cooling all that good but um right now it's still running at 51 um i don't know if that's correct i mean it, it can't be uh, I, I have to i have to uh really test it see if the battery is getting any better since it now doesn't need to spin all that much and uh maybe it also went down with the degrees. I can't really, you know, tell you that right now, because it's obviously just been powered on. It's, I mean, this was sitting at like randomly at, at eighty or seventy five or something when I when I did something in CLI, and of course now it doesn't really have to do anything. It's just a hello world program. Um, it doesn't do anything. But 60 is like uh, way better. And I'm not just saying that because, you know, just to make any, like, oh, it really worked. But now it's 69, it went down to 61. Um, I mean, it can never be wrong to change out this stuff. It, it, it's 
you know dries up after the older years so after all this is an 07 computer so you know this this really needed a badly a renewal and also it shouldn't run so hot generally it should uh, just be cooler and it even got a little lighter even though i can't really notice it all that much but it is lighter that's a fact i put out this and this and no screws so even some weight saving <laughs> all right says so we get half an hour battery remaining yeah let's close some stuff here but yeah guys uh this is the video hopefully it was a little interesting uh it just needed to be done in my eyes and so yeah tell me what you think and see you later